Hello and welcome back to another episode of On That Grind in GTA Online. Today we have a couple things on the agenda, starting with a nightclub management mission. Since my nightclub safe is almost full, we're going to head over there after this wheel. And at the end we'll also be doing the finale mission of the VIP contract. Got 30k from this though. So not bad. I haven't been using my uh, Itali RSX here as often as I probably should be because it's my favorite car, so we're gonna use that today. Made it to the nightclub, so I'm gonna go and get the money out of the safe to start, because I don't want the safe maxing out at all, but we're probably gonna need some popularity, so we're gonna have to uh, kick someone out, it looks like. Oh, there's the troublemaker. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Not really asking, though, kind of throwing you out on the floor. <laughs> Oh, that's just, that was great. We got 10k from that, and our popularity is almost up to full. Nice. G's cache is actually right next to my nightclub, so we're going to go head over there next. There's also a jet flying overhead, but hopefully they do not want any trouble. We can actually sneak on to the park here in our Itali RSX and look for it. Might be back here. Nope. Just got to listen for the, the beep beep noise. That, and I just check spots that I've seen it at before. I've seen it up. Oh, I hear it. Is it up here? Oh, it is. Uh, how are we going to get to this? I know we could just jump up there, but this seems like the better option. Come on, let me out, let me out. No! Oh, what? Really? My character got out of the other door? Are you kidding me? I'm going to try reversing, maybe? Oh, wait, wait. Let me out, let me out. No. Wait, where am I getting out at? Let me, yes, let's go, we did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Also, I just realized I'm completely out of ammo for my heavy revolver Mark II, so we should probably just call in the Terabyte and do that next. And also, while I'm in my Terabyte, we may as well do a client job, because why not? Let's first grab some heavy revolver Mark II ammo. I actually haven't done any of these in a little bit. And it looks like we should probably do diamond shopping. I think that's going to be the easiest. I'm just going to use the Mark II because it, it just makes sense. We're just going to head over to Vangelico. We're here. I'm going to park my Mark II like this. And then we're just going to pretty much charge in. Because I do not take the drone route. And they're going to push out. And we got them all. Nice. Now we gotta just grab this and leave and lose the cops. And yeah, this is just, it's free money. It is actually just free money. If I had parked my Mark II a little bit closer, I think we would have actually not been seen. Oh, actually, I didn't get spotted at all. I don't know how. I was definitely in their line of sight. That's crazy. It'd be nice if we could lose them right now. Nice, we did. Yeah, that was pretty clean. Under two minutes, and I forgot how much these give. 30k. Yeah, under two minutes for 30 grand. Client jobs are kind of OP. Since we're close to it, I'll also do the uh, stash house next. Go over there, probably uh, resupply our acid lab. There's also a business battle that just spawned, but I kind of want to do this while I'm close to it. So we're going to do the stash house, and then we're going to go over to the business battle if other players don't take it first. So yeah, same as always. Just one like this, and one like this, and then we go down here, we look for the sticky note. So I was in a different spot. Oh, there it is. Let's see, what does it say? It says 2803.98. 2803.98. Boom. Grab this. Then as I'm leaving the area here, we're going to go towards the business battle that I'm hoping is still there. Nice. Uh, I'm not seeing it on my map. I guess it's uh, not here. Oh, no, it is. Oh, someone just took it, though. Huh. I don't know. I think we just let this guy have it. Next up, I'm going to be attempting to complete the double money Fort Zancudo time trial. I did already map out a route with uh, my Itali RSX and then realized that there's no way we're doing this one with the Itali RSX because we got to go up a mountain. And the Italian RSX can go up mountains, just not quick enough for this time trial. So, pulled out the good old Shotaro, the best vehicle to do time trials in, in my opinion. 
And we're already going to be taking a shortcut up here. You see how on the mini-map it wants me to turn. I'm not going to be turning. We're going to try to go towards the left side where the road is here. Yep. Yep, this is good. This is very good. That's exactly where I wanted to land. Now if we can just go really quickly. Uh, I set the waypoint at the bottom of where I think might be the best spot to go up the mountain is. So we're going to have to see. But it's still a little bit of a ways out. And we got like 40 seconds or so left. And I think the mountain part's at least going to take me 20. So we got to get there quick. Like really quick. Okay. We're approaching the spot. Uh, yeah, I think it's here. I hope so. I really do hope so. Uh, I can't even see where I'm going. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Wait, this is good. We got like 14 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds. Oh, a little bit less than that. Go, go, go! Yes! We did it! We had 4 seconds to spare too. We got 200k for that because it's paying double. Nice! Wow! Oh, criminal damage just started. I think we should do it guys. So I called in my Hydra here and we're just gonna be chilling with the Hydra at the military base doing this pretty much. And you see how that got us 750k just from one. And there's another. And we do this enough and pretty much we get first place. As long as I can aim that is and not blow myself up that, that was terrible. But yeah, we're still in it. Uh, maybe I should just steal this. So as you can see the jets are spawning in already. Okay, someone is actually beating me. Not for long, though. There are more jets appearing here. This might get violent, something tells me. Because there are not enough jets at the military base for everyone to be destroying them. And we also need people to kind of leave this area so new jets spawn in. The whole lobby has gathered here at the military base. I think most people know about this. Anything spawning? Uh, this just spawned in and crashed into the ground. That's lovely. Yeah, nothing's respawning here even. Oh, there's a cargo bob here. I guess I'll shoot that down. That's worth a little bit. But nothing's spawning in at the military base for some reason. It's very odd. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, guys. I've left the area and came back a few times now and... Nothing's respawning at the military base. Well, we got second place, which was worth 50 grand. And I honestly probably could have easily had first there. He only won by 4 million. Uh, but I think it was because the amount of people that were there at the military base was just making it so no new jets were spawning in at all. Well, since I'm in this laser jet, I'm going to attempt to land it on the top of the maze bank. It's not the most difficult task or anything, but... It's still kind of hard to do. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh, this might not be good. Yeah, I can't put away the landing gears either. I tried. Uh, maybe we fall back a bit. Nope. Oh. Wait. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. We did it. Like I said, not the hardest thing to do, but... Still kind of fun. Next, I'm going to call up Franklin here and request a payphone hit. And it's over here. It's the way I was parachuting towards. Uh, we will not be able to land at it, though. I do not imagine. Doesn't mean I'm not going to try, but it's pretty far out there. Ooh, we almost accidentally landed. Oh, we're landing here. Uh, get me over the fence at least. Yeah! <laughs> well, we were close. We're definitely close. Let's go answer this. Calling out my Itali RSX. Our assassination bonus is taking them all out with a headshot. We got four targets, 15 minutes on the clock. This should be pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's just a lot of driving is all. Approaching the first target now, I got my heavy revolver Mark II. And we're just going to line up a headshot and boom. Uh, they're moving a little bit, and the sun's kind of in my eyes, and we missed. But we still got him, the second shot. 
don't like that the sun glare was like that. I probably should have uh, taken my time to find a better angle. Third target now, and they're also moving. Uh, are they gonna keep moving the whole time? Oh, they, they stopped to shoot at me. I mean, that works. Make my job easier. And we are approaching the final target. Uh, they are right here, chilling. And once again, the sun is in my eyes, but that should be a headshot. Yep, assassination bonus complete, nice. And that took about five minutes. We just gotta leave the area. <laughs> Rest in peace to that guy. Oh, and those people. I'm not the best driver right now, jeez. We got 85k for that though, that is very nice. Love payphone hits. And you know what, since we've uh, been doing some business with Franklin, let's just continue that and do a security contract. Oh, we got asset protection, okay. Well, this is gonna be 10 minutes. And then when I do get there, I'm gonna call in my Kanjali and just sit in it. Actually, you know what, no, that, that's boring. That's like the grinding way to do it. That's not the exciting way, no. We're gonna stand in front with a minigun and just defend it with our lives, pretty much. <laughs> it's not a smart idea, but we're doing it. Finally made it after quite the drive. I'm sure a few crates have already been destroyed. Oh, no. Or was that one been destroyed as I arrived? No, we're chilling. My surprise. Uh, so let me pull out the minigun, take out this guy. There's one more somewhere. Is this him? No, this is him. There we go. Wow, I cannot believe that they're actually all still here. Oh, they're coming in from down here. And up here. And in the trees somewhere. There they are. Did that guy even die? I don't think he did. They're in the bushes. Oh, here's the guys with Molotovs. Should probably focus on taking them out whenever we do see them. There's another one coming from down here. There we go. Nice. Where is this guy that's shooting me? There he is, hiding in the bushes. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so low health. Oh, they're actually trying to come from behind as well. We got the Molotov carriers coming in. Are they still in there? I think one escaped. I think I attacked from too far away. Yeah, one definitely escaped. They're running up on foot somewhere. Right there. I see you. Oh, they're in the trees. I, I don't even know where they are. That's so annoying. Wow. Couldn't even hit snacks fast enough. They're, they're hiding in the bushes. Got another one coming that way. Yeah, honestly, this might be a better spot. I just didn't realize it before. We got another batch of Molotov carriers coming in. Oh, they actually started turning into the parking lot there. It's like the closest they've been, and what just happened there? My gun just started making a different noise and the whole game just lagged. What was that? Might be a modder. There is someone approaching on the map. That was very strange. It's like the last wave of Molotov carriers have spawned in, but I don't even think they're gonna make it to me in time. There's like five seconds left. So we pretty much completed this. Yeah, there you go, two, one, nice. I'm not sure what the heck happened at the end there with the very strange leg, but uh, we did it. We got 35 grand from that. And uh, one more security contract complete towards the uh, 200. Oh, another business battle just spawned. This time I'm going straight to it. Oh, it's one of my least favorite business battles. Ah, uh, we can still do it. There's also a Mark I oppressor over here. Interesting. Oh, and I'm distracted on my mini-map. I almost crashed into the skyscraper. <laughs> I'm gonna try to park my sparrow on one of these dinghies. I don't even know if it's possible. I just, I'm too lazy to do anything else. Okay, well, that didn't work in multiple ways. The sparrow didn't stay parked. I didn't save any time because it still kicked me to the water and our sparrow is gone. But to be fair, the sparrow being gone, I did not care about. <laughs> I tried though, I tried to park it. To start here, we actually got to turn off the air defense. 
So we'll do that. We are going in. I'm just gonna like start taking out people. I got everyone we see pretty much. I barely even saw that guy. I didn't see that guy either. That guy's trying to run away. Where is everyone? Oh, we have a crate. Not that I need it right now. The guy back here on peak. There's also one somewhere up there. Yeah. Get this guy. Am I going to be able to go through here? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. Now we got a whole new group of people to take out. And... I think there's also a guy here, right? Oh, well, I died anyway. I should have eaten snacks. Nice. Perfect landing. <laughs> back here. Got our crate back. Oh, that must have been the guy that shot me. Is there a guy here? There is, yeah. I'm glad I'm not going crazy with that. Uh, and I think we got them all. So we head back now and go turn off the air defense. Gotta turn these off. We'll just start with this one. Wow, that was a long time for me to find that. Like, more than 10 seconds. So yeah, let's see if we can do this one a bit faster. Come on. We're looking for 0344. There it is. Boom. Way faster that time. And now, we can go and uh, leave out of one of the jets. Oh, look at this. Now a helicopter is rolling in. They're like, ooh, the air defenses are off. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hey, buddy. That's fine with me. You go over there and you take them, because there's no way in 20 minutes am I taking all of these weapon crates. So I'm going to attempt to land this at, like, my nightclub entrance. Is this even possible? Am I just... Am I being dumb for even trying this? Oh, what? Well, turned... Oh, really? We're getting shot at. And that's almost killed me anyway, even though I bailed. Who attacked me? That's the question. Who's around me right now? Uh, probably the guy who's red, Guitar Bird, if I had to guess. So, let's snack up, jump down here, and then watch out for Guitar Bird. Oh, what? I still died from that? Are you kidding me? Wait, where did it drop my crate? It says it's up? Wait, hold up. I died of fall damage. Are you kidding me right now, game? Where it's trying to say it is. Oh, it was somehow still up there. Because, you know, that makes sense for sure. But there we go. <laughs> After many failures, we have delivered our first business battle crate. Oh, and someone just rolled up here, too. I wonder if they were trying to do something. Oh, they definitely were, weren't they? Yeah. Got the compact EMP launcher. What you doing? Who are you? Yeah. Well, somehow I missed. I tried to switch to this thing. Oh, and they got me. But yeah, this guy's going to be a little bit problematic. I don't know how I missed the uh, compact EMP launcher shot, though. It's kind of weird. Uh, here's the other guy. There we go. Get him with the rail gun. <laughs> the, the NPCs are getting revenge for him. They're like, how dare you? That was my favorite Shotaro rider. Uh, I think I'm chill. I need to go back to the business battle. Stop PvPing. I can't be getting all distracted with this PvP when there's a bunch of business battle uh, crates out at sea. <laughs> Oh, and those two people, uh, well, actually only one of them was, uh, the person messing with me, but they got obliterated by the orbital cannon, so I guess they made other people upset as well. Interesting. Oh, there's actually still, uh, a crate up top. Nice. Any jets, though? No. Unfortunately, it looks like everyone else already took a laser out, so I'm riding my Mark II back, unfortunately. There's our second Business Battle Goods Crate Delivered. Oh, great. And Guitar Bird is just chilling right here. Guitar Bird, don't do it. Guitar Bird, don't do it. Guitar Bird, don't do it. Guitar Bird, do not do it. Don't do it. Don't. 
Don't. No, Guitar Bird. Stop. Stop it, Guitar Bird. Stop. Yeah, okay, he's doing it. He's doing it, guys. I tried. I really did try. I gave him every opportunity to just leave me be. But he was not having any of it. I'll take this one. And I did not mean to press that button, no. Wait, I was trying to call Moors, and then I realized somehow I died, but my Mark II is still up there just fine. Which to me makes pretty much zero sense, but I'll we'll have to see. It's probably like on fire and about to explode. It's not on fire and about to explode. It looks perfectly fine. That makes no sense at all. Okay. I mean, I'll take it, but it makes no sense. Oh, Hobo Larry in the chat calling out Guitar Bird to a fist fight. If that's still going on uh, after I drop off this crate, I will definitely go check that out. We can also help this guy with his business battle. Get this buzzard off of him if that hits. It looks like it's going to. Yeah, there we go. Just help him a bit. Oh, and I Heart Music just got detected for cheating. Interesting. Oh, Guitar Bird just said sure. Oh, I gotta see this. And there we go. That is the final business battle crate that I'm gonna be doing. Got three of them. Not bad. This Broken Palmer guy seems to be interfering with the fist fight. We might have to take them out. I don't know. He's right there. Oh yeah, he, he's definitely definitely interfering he's like going oh i see he's a modder here's hobo larry and we need uh to find the other guy now guitar or something i already forgot his name oh really you're stealing it bro at least let me get in the back then okay and we are getting exploding cars launched at us oh yeah this is probably not gonna go well and if we look here in chat, it looks like uh, Hobo Larry is saying that the modder is making it so they can't fist fight. Oh, he's saying he made him leave. Is that true? Oh, yeah, the guitar guy left. No, guys, we didn't get to do the fist fight. Respected, I guess. Dang. Oh, and Hobo Larry just got detected for cheating and was removed from the session. I don't think Hobo Larry was cheating, though. I think someone's getting people's accounts banned in here. So, yeah, because there was a modder doing other stuff. I think I'm going to leave this lobby now that the business battle's over, guys. I'm kind of worried. Now we're going to do what I said we were going to do at the beginning of this episode, and we are going to do the finale mission for the VIP contract. Okay, we are gonna go and hunt down Johnny Guns for two million GTA dollars. Let's get it. For how much this mission pays? Oh, you know, actually, I was gonna just take this thing, but then I realized we still have our Granger 3600 LX. What a name. But yeah, for how much this mission pays, it's very easy to do. We'll just take this turn, the safest turn in GTA. Complete the stunt jump, because why not? And then I'm going to purposely leave this here as we go in towards Johnny Guns. And get the cutscene. And the key to this fight is just stay undercover, pretty much, for the entirety of it. And it's pretty easy. We'll just be taking out most of the NPCs as they come. And they'll be dropping like flies. And we got to make sure they don't sneak up on me, either. If they crawl in here, then it might be problematic. So just keep them away at all angles. Oh, uh, we got a guy approaching from the back here. He's probably going to climb up on that. i got to watch out for him so he doesn't take me out. Uh, where is he? He's back there. There we go. We got him. And this guy is just straight up hiding, so we'll do this. And there we go. I think they're all dead, actually. Yeah. Oh. 
We only got hit like once that whole time. Like, look how much damage I took. It's just a little bit of body armor. This part of the mission depends completely on my ability to aim. We're gonna be running in with the assault shotgun and just hopefully mowing down everyone uh, really quickly. Very minimal reloads. Probably reload once here. And then we're gonna be taking the route that... Okay, wait, we might need to back up. Or jump on top of here. That's definitely what I meant to do. Wasn't trying to roll away or anything. Okay. And yeah, we're going now. So if you guys haven't seen my guide on this mission, you probably have no idea what I'm doing. But it'll all make sense here in a moment. Uh, I might need to take out this guy. So he doesn't deal too much damage. Oh no, they're dealing too much damage. No! Okay, so definitely should have taken out more guys there. So what I was trying to do last time before the NPCs so rudely interrupted me is take the, uh, the plane wing over here, jump down, and then hopefully just speed run up these stairs. There might also be a guy who spawns here. He does sometimes, yep. Not every time, though, for some reason. And then Johnny Guns is up here. And as long as I don't get stuck in the rails, we can actually take him out and grab him before having to deal with the massive army of NPCs he has. Now all we gotta do is drive Dr. Dre over to the country club. And we're done. And I think it's actually really cool that Dr. Dre has custom, like, voice lines for in the car here. Like, if you start recklessly driving, like, listen to this. What the fuck did you just do? <laughs> Like, I like that they actually have that attention to detail, and he has custom lines just for this car ride. Drop off Dr. Dre, try to get a ride in the helicopter with him. Let me in! Let me in! Ah, it never lets you in. I was so sad. I wanted to go with him. I don't even know where he's going, but I just, I wanted to go with him. <laughs> bye bye! And boom. Mission pass. Let's see that two million. Oh, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Nice. Also 3,600 RP. We'll take it. And that is where we're going to wrap up this episode of On That Grind in GTA Online. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you all next time. Peace.